human activity is altering the water cycle in ways that threaten our communities. We'll describe how, talk about why it matters, and discuss what we can do about it. Let's start with a brief refresher. The sun's energy heats up the surface of the ocean and other water bodies and converts liquid water to water vapor through evaporation. Plants pull water up through their roots and release water vapor to the atmosphere through their leaves in a process called transpiration. As the water vapor rises, it cools down, eventually transforming into water droplets. This is called condensation. The water droplets coalesce, become heavier, and fall back to the earth as, as precipitation. Some of the rain runs off the surface of the ground and finds its way into streams, rivers, lakes, and the ocean. And some of the rain soaks down into the soil forming groundwater. This is called percolation or infiltration. Some of that groundwater flows into streams and rivers, forming what is known as a stream's base flow. This base flow is why streams still have water flowing in them even when it's not raining. This process repeats itself over and over in what we call the hydrologic cycle or the water cycle. Human activity is altering the water cycle in two major ways land development, and climate change. If we look at a natural watershed with only natural ground cover, we see that half of the precipitation soaks into the ground through percolation or infiltration. Only 10% of the rainfall runs off the surface and 40% is returned to the atmosphere through evapotranspiration. When we add hard surfaces like parking lots, roadways, and rooftops, we change that equation. In a low-density residential development, like you'd see in a rural area, the proportion of rainfall that forms runoff is twice that what it is in a natural watershed, and the percentage that infiltrates into the ground and evapotranspires back into the atmosphere is also is reduced. With greater amounts of hard surfaces, the amount of runoff is higher still, while infiltration and evapotranspiration is lower. In an urban landscape, runoff is more than five times that in the natural watershed, and infiltration is less than one-third. Climate change is also altering the water cycle. As the surface of the ocean and other water bodies get warmer, the rate of evaporation increases. We also know that warmer air can hold more water vapor than cooler air. This means that as the climate warms, the chance for larger rainstorms is increasing. Climate scientists have observed a large increase in the heaviest storms. In the Northeast, the amount of rain falling in the heaviest 1% of storms increased by 55% between 1958 and 2016. But climate change is also likely to make drought conditions worse. Because warmer air can hold more water vapor, more moisture from the soil and from plants is sucked into the atmosphere through evaporation and transpiration, even during dry periods with little rain, further desiccating dry landscapes. Fortunately, there are things we can do to help restore the water cycle. Read on to see how.